Hey guys, welcome to the channel. First and foremost, I want to say, uh, send my respects to everyone who's been affected by COVID-19. I want to send my love and respect to all the frontline workers who are still out there working hard, who are close to, um, you know, in the battle, on the battlefield. And um, I salute you guys. So, I wanted to uh, share my thoughts and potential strategies that people will be using in the real estate world, right? So just a little bit about myself. My name is Savalas. Um, I've been in the real estate world since 2013. Um, bought my first property. Uh, before that, we were renting uh, for two, two and a half years, my wife and I. And before that, I lived with family and friends, right? So um, as a homeowner, it's ups and downs, peaks and valleys, and I love everything about that. Uh, I'm not going to get into my personal story right now. But I did want to share a little bit of my uh, personal uh, background in real estate, right? Um, I still have a rental property and I'm looking to acquire other properties. So in the link below, you'll see um, a telephone number where you can text me, especially if you're in the Valley area in California and you're looking to get rid of property. I am doing wholesaling right now. I'm looking for my first wholesale deal, guys. So if you guys out there can relate to looking for your first wholesale deal, comment below and let me know any strategies suggestions education that um, I could look into right in order to get that first deal so I'm um, in 2017 my family and I moved from VA to California we're originally from Cali um, I started going to school and I end up going to school for real estate so I have an associate's degree in real estate I have a certification in real estate I have a certification in commercial real estate as well uh, through the BOMA program um, that's a uh, uh, builders, owners, and um, managers association. Um, and I'm currently going to school uh, for a bachelor's degree in business management with a focus in real estate. And I'm also a student at J. Morrison Academy, JMA, which is a real estate online school, but it's more so of a, a real estate wealth building class now. So salute to J. Morrison. And so that's just a little bit about my educational background. You guys will be able to check out. Uh, I'll talk more about those things later. That's not what this video is about at all. But I do want you to do me a favor before I get deep into this video. Could you please hit that thumbs up for me? Thanks. And also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. As of right now, we got about over 5,000 subscribers. And we're looking to grow that, baby. We're looking to grow. So, now, how could we, you know, build more assets because of this pandemic. So here's a couple things uh, that people are looking into that's in the real estate world, right? And we need to understand a couple things. The number one thing is they're saying that, you know, this uh, pandemic or this uh, stay at home or this quarantine may last uh, anywhere between uh, the end of the year, right? So right now we're in May. So there's some people projecting the end of the year, some people projecting next month. Some people were supposed to be, some states were supposed to be out of this quarantine yesterday, but some got extended. Who knows, right? Besides the subject. Point is this, the real estate market is where things can get kind of, mm -hmm -hmm. so um, the experts, the emails that I get from different um real estate investors and blogs is that it's going to take 12 to 18 months before the real estate market really starts to take a dive and so with that understanding um, we're talking about next year 2021 around May June next year summer until the end of next year so December 2021 is when it's kind of expected for the real estate market to go down, right? Now that's important or that's important to know because if you're um, wholesaling right now or you're trying to wholesale right now, you need to come up with a game plan, right? And this is one thing that I'm uh, not struggling with but thinking about, right, as a real estate investor or as a wholesaler, you're not really a real estate investor. You're more of a marketing, um, you're more in the marketing industry and that's something I'll get into a little bit later in other videos. Oh, speaking of other videos, uh, don't forget, every weekend I'll be releasing videos at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. 
So every Saturday and Sunday, you'll get a new video from TV Savalas talking about real estate. So be sure to subscribe. All right. So. The thing about this is. And. That lending companies, the government and lending companies for home mortgages, they are working with homeowners right now in order for homeowners to be able to hold off on making their uh, monthly payments for their mortgage because of this pandemic. So when I called my mortgage company earlier, uh, a couple of days ago, and there was a little pre-recording pre that basically said, if you've been affected by COVID-19, push one so we can assist you. Da, 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 da. So I'm pretty sure that um, a majority of lending companies may be um, doing the same thing for their customers, right? If you have any experience or if you've been through that um, with your loan company or lending company, please comment below and, and let us know your story and what's going on with that and how they're able to help. Um, I'm not in a situation where I need their assistance right now, but previously, a few years ago, I needed their assistance. That's a different story too. Video's coming soon. Um, but as of right now, the problem is if you're a wholesaler, you're expecting this big, large amount of people to be willing and ready to sell their homes. But since lenders are allowing homeowners to hold onto their properties, probably making minimum payments, probably making no payments, it's making it kind of tricky for wholesalers to really dig deep and market hard to certain areas um, in the marketplace right now, given what's what we expected to be this huge um, uh, pot of vacant homes or people trying to get rid of their homes, right? So that with that understanding, you have to know that, okay, so the people who are owner-occupied living in their homes, the lenders are helping them understood but what if they have homes two and three a vacation home maybe a, um, a second home in general so those properties um, I don't know how lenders are working uh, with those kind of homeowners if you own multiple properties and maybe you're not able to keep up with those other properties right so the assumption is in the real estate investment world is that that's the target you need to go after right the people who have multiple properties um, they're going to be the ones to uh, want our services as wholesalers. And I kind of find that not to be true, right? And that's only because, um, and I've owned multiple properties at the same time. And I was able to do that because I could afford it. When I wasn't able to afford it, guess what? I sold one of them, kept the other one, moved on. So, um, when you're out there wholesaling and marketing to these people and especially if they have multiple properties and you're thinking man this is just a shoe in you know what i mean i got this deal because those people who own the other homes a lot of times they can afford it nine times out of ten they can afford their second property now if they have house five six and seven then now that's the market that you probably want to tap into right um and there's no system out there in the real estate world that shows you how many properties a certain person or owner has. So you still have to market those um, vacant homes, you know what I mean? Those um, absentee owners. So you still wanna to market to those people as of right now. If you don't get the response that you're looking for, you know, it may be tough right now because like I said, the lenders are even working with the homeowners on for their primary properties that's when i'm not sure if they're working with the homeowners for like their other properties that puts that can put homeowners in a bind right no matter what well homeowner if you if you were a homeowner what would you do you would do anything in your power to keep the roof that you live in um paid for compared to house three four and five right but if my lending company is telling me for these different homes, you know, well, we're gonna work with you on this vacation home, or we're gonna work with you on this uh, 
uh, this uh, vacant home that you have over here, the second home, this third home. You know, we're going to allow you to not make the mortgage payment for a while because of the situation going on with the pandemic. It's going to be hard, you know what I mean, to um, really dig in that market. Um, but even with that said, from what the experts say, 12 to 18 months. So, and also a little asterisk with that is that they're saying like even um, those 12 and 18 months that you may not be able to pay your whole mortgage or you don't have to pay it at all. Well, guess what? There may be some fees hidden in those kind of terms and agreements. So that's something that you want to get on the phone, talk to your lender. Hey, I just want to make sure that um, there's no extra monthly fees that will accumulate throughout the next 12 to 18 months while I get my finances together to be able to continue to make my monthly uh, mortgage payments. That's something that you guys want to find out, right? Um, because you can be in a position where you think or maybe you're only making partial payments right now and you think once you get back on your feet, you can just continue to make your regular payments like you were making before. And then a mortgage company may send you a letter like or an email like you owe, you know, $10,000 immediately. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. So uh, just be aware of that, guys, if you're um, a homeowner. And if you're an investor, just keep that kind of, you know, that mind frame. Keep those those things turning in your head, those kind of situations that could come up. And how could you uh, help someone in that situation? So, um, 12 to 18 months. So that's for people like right now who are trying to do wholesaling. So the option for people like myself is basically like, I need to hold off on marketing right now, right? And stack my money for the next 12 to 18 months and use that money for marketing, right? Or I might be able to even uh, find a property that I can wholesale to myself by that point if I save enough money. It all depends on how much money you're able to save each month from this point, from May 2020 until May 2021 or December 2021, right? Um, so that's the best advice right now because for wholesaling, a lot of people are going to make it, you know, especially for beginners like myself in wholesaling. Uh, it may seem they're not going to make it, but it, it could seem, you know, watching YouTube and, and reading um, different blogs, it may seem like um, quick and easy in order to um, start generating leads and all those other things, or you don't need much money. I'm here to tell you from my experience, and some people, you know, their stories are legit to whereas they bought one batch of bandit signs. Two days later, three days later, a week later, a month later, they got a phone call and they make 27000 off of a deal. But I didn't find that to be true for myself in this wholesaling game, right? Or in this real estate industry. And so um, what I'm learning is you need money to market, right? I don't care which marketing strategy you do, which there'll be videos about marketing in real estate coming in the future. Remember, every Saturday and Sunday at 5 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 8 a.m. on the West Coast, um, I'll be releasing more videos, TV Savalas. So Y'all stay tuned. But, so, uh, I'm not going to go too deep into that, but just understand that wholesaling real estate, getting deals done, you're going to need money for marketing, right? It's not as cut and dry and easy as a lot of people or you may think it is initially. You're going to need a bag to get a bag, right? And because other people's bags are different, right? My bag might be $25. Your bag might be $2,000. If you got $2,000 to put into marketing for wholesaling, guess what? You could obviously find more clients before I find a client, right? No matter how hard I hustle, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be able to touch more avenues with $2,000 compared to my $25. Just understand that. So anyway, save money if you're wholesaling. Save money for marketing or for wholesaling uh, wholesaling deals to yourself, right? Please, please, please um, uh, work on that strategy. As an investor, what you really want to do in order, if you want to start um, wholesaling now and targeting people now, 
I would kind of shy away from targeting those people who you think may be um, affected by um, uh, this pandemic right now in the situation. I would kind of stay away from that group um, as far as marketing. I would probably change my marketing strategy to those people who may have um, property issues dating back to uh, November 2019. Like those people from what, uh, six months ago? Those are the people who we, as wholesale investors, we need to target. Um, and because those people most likely are in more of a, a dire situation to get out of a property um, because of X, Y, and Z reasons, right? And so instead of trying to market to people who you think are need help right now, um, if you need a deal right now, you need to we we need to market to people um, who have uh, issues dating back to last year. But so I'm switching up my strategy, um, and I'll update you guys on that too. So remember, every Saturday and Sunday at 5 a.m. Eastern time, I'll release a video. 8 a.m. on the West Coast every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, also. If anybody's interested in um, the stock market, right, in the description below, there is a link. Um, you can use my referral link to Robinhood where you get a free stock, I get a free stock if you use my referral link in the description below. So, um, also, I want you guys to tune in. Uh, you guys want to check out any of my music. I got clean music, like church style music. I got um, unclean music, like don't let your grandma hear music. All that's in the description below as well. Be sure to check out my music, uh, follow me on social media, and share this video with 10 people that you don't know. 10 people. Anyway, I hope you guys um, are successful in your real estate journey. Um, I'll be definitely give you guys updates. And if you haven't checked out my video of me putting out banded signs, um, and chasing my first wholesale deal you can find that on my youtube channel if you go to my playlist and go to um uh Savalas realty llc in my playlist Savalas realty llc you'll see that's my uh, newest video as far as real estate goes before i get out of here if you guys have any strategies about wholesaling uh investing in real estate please leave your comments below Please let me know what you think about um, what I assume could possibly happen or my strategy that I'm trying to implement. Um, all uh, advice will be uh, taken in and I'll do my best to respond to you guys. I appreciate it. One love.